Okay, folks, I'm taking over right where last video stopped. In the previous video, I was preparing for my first start market. If you remember, if you don't, go and watch it. And I'm about to go and print the prints that I'm going to hopefully be selling on the art market. I'm still really nervous about this. I feel like all my decisions are wrong. I'm questioning my whole <laughs> life right now. You know how it is. Or maybe you don't. You're lucky if you don't. But anyway, let's just go and make some prints, shall we? just back from my printing trip and I have a bunch of prints now. <laughs> it uh, went on way longer than it should have because I just decided to take a bit of a walk through the city. I haven't been out there since it's got warmer and leaves are coming back and everything is getting green in this I don't know what this is called, very light yellowy green color, which is amazing. It just makes me so happy that it's getting warmer again. So yeah, I went printing, I went to get a few packaging bits and I also passed by the art store because of course I did. Uh, I didn't do huge shopping, it was more browsing around and touching stuff. So let's uh, do a little haul, shall we? Okay. So here are my A4 prints. So here's a little Freysia, Freysia, whatever you call these. The little cotton branches. I think the real ones are a bit expensive for me, so I thought I'd just draw them. So that's kind of the idea with all of them. Fresh flowers here are really expensive and they die so quickly, so you can get these instead. A little, not sure what this is called in English, uh, but I love this thing. I love how it smells. It's just takes me back to my childhood. Well, most of these do, which is why I draw them. <laughs> I'm just in love with this tree, 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 tree. Also, uh, back in Bulgaria, where I'm from, we make tea from that. It's nice, I guess. I don't remember how I had it in a long while. Oh, this is probably my favorite, the wisteria. Just think it's so pretty. Mm. People on Redbubble think so too, because it's my best seller, I believe. You should check out my Redbubble. It's in the description. Look at me advertising like a pro. This thing, I also really love this thing. Well, I only chose things that I really love. Is it silly? I I'm sure it is. It's just a bunch of flowers. It's totally stupid, but I don't know. They make me happy and I hope maybe they make other people happy as well. This thing, an apple blossom because it's pretty. Big. That's the reason for all of it. <laughs> I'm terrible with this. Poppy, because I just love poppies. They're one of my favorite flowers. Sumi. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I also love this guy. Just like, I, I love this thing. Yep, that's it for the big guys. I'm still thinking, should I have some A3? Should I go back tomorrow, print some A3s? I don't know. Maybe next time. Next up, we have the little guys. This happy strawberry water can low happy guy. Yeah, it's not fitting that good with the others. I think the colors on this one are a bit more pastel, while the others are more whatever else they're called, non-pastel. Eucalyptus, I believe. I love this thing. Why is it so expensive? Can you tell me? I believe it's the same thing. The letter in a bottle. Oh. I think I saw I saw it somewhere in a shop or on a window. I didn't come up with that idea, so is that wrong? Lavender, because can you not have lavender? I don't know, maybe you can. Some figs. Figs are 
a bit part of my childhood. My There was a fig tree in my grandma's yard and in the summer we would eat them and we'll make jam from it and we'll have it with pancakes and it was just, mm, it's great. Also, I used to climb on that fig. It was good times. This plant, I don't have particular story with it, I just saw it in the store and I thought it's fun and then I learned that it's called Chinese money plant or something like that and I thought that was fun because money plant, you know, money don't grow on trees, apparently they do now. Well, I'm totally mixing these up. This thing, I don't know what this is called in English, this plant, but it's like the most popular go-to house plant in Bulgaria, these ones, it's like everyone has them. And when you break a branch, you can put it in water and it will grow roots and then you can plant it. My parents' place, my my grandma's place, it's, it's full of them. And you also all the time see them in bottles and in cups where they put them to, to grow the roots. I don't know. I just think these are kind of cute as well. I don't think it's something that exists that much in here. I haven't seen it that much. Like I've seen those plants, but they're not that common. And I also haven't seen people sort of breed them on their own. You literally just buy it from the store. And actually also when I was a kid, I thought this is the most boring plant of all. I didn't hate it, but like, it's so common. It's so much everywhere that you just get bored with it. And now I never see it. So now I think it's cool. And also, I am trying to grow one. Bit of Monstera, I think. I drew it when I was sitting in a cafe. It didn't look exactly like that. I kind of took liberties. And I think it's cool. I want one in my place, but they're expensive. So I can have this one. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I think they're starting to repeat now. Oh, I actually have a lot of those small ones. What have I done? And that's it for the prints. Tasty. And then I bought some of these. Let's let's unpack it to see if it's what I actually want it to be. Because I don't want to just hand it to people and look trashy. Um, I'm not prepared to really package things really nicely. This is kind of an imp improvised market, so it's not going to be my best, but still I'm going to put them in these little baggies and I'm going to add a, like a business card, maybe tape them with something nice like wash tape or something. So just clear a bag. And please don't tell me of how much I'm killing the environment. I'm already beating myself over it. So <sighs> that's that. So they're going to get inside like this. And like this. So they look a little more nice when people buy them. I think it's cute. Whatever. Okay. And we have the same baggies in A4 for the A4s. Boom. I also got these tiny little labels and I'm going to use them for price tags. Maybe I'll also write thank you on them. We'll see. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yeah, my little steal from the art store. I didn't really steal them, I paid for them with my hard-earned money is this guys. So I've wanted to try water-based markers for a while to shade my sketches in my sketchbook. So they look kind of a bit more nice and put together without me wasting some fancy copics on them. Also, if my theory is correct, this shouldn't bleed. So let's go ahead and try them. Oh, how about this one? It had a lot of colors, but most of them were really dark and like, I don't know, the only ones I liked were these two. And this is like very light gray with a hint of blue violetish. And this is like pale pink. Do they have names? Oh, in case you're interested, by the way, it's called Grafo Twin Tip Water Based Marker. That's all it says. So let's see. The, the nib is really stiff. So that's kind of weird. Nope. No bleeding. That's great. Yeah, I think it's going to to do what I want it to do. This one. Yeah, gray, gray, violet. -y. I don't know. I think it's great for shading sketches. 
I'm gonna play with it in a bit when I stop talking to you. So, oh yeah, they also have this other tip, which is like a fine liner or something. This is like really fine and because it's so pale, it's, meh, it's kind of cool. I like it. Also, actually, they should be water soluble. So now you're gonna make me get the water cover sketchbook, won't you? That's an ugly page. Let's ruin it more. And then I have my water brush somewhere. Mm, I don't see a lot of water action happening. I mean, yeah, kind of, no really, but whatever. I didn't buy them for that, so I don't care. Nope, nothing. It's cool. I'm cool with it. So, yeah, I think that's what I wanted to show you for right now. I also need to post the video that you maybe or maybe not saw <laughs> last week. But if you didn't, you can always see it like right now. In fact, you should. Well, okay, I think it's time to, you know, go our separate ways <laughs> for the time being. But this is not the end of the video, so keep watching. Hey folks, I'm talking to you from the bedroom because the washing machine is going crazy in the other room. I didn't think about that earlier. But anyway, it's Friday and today I was planning to set up some of the prints in frames and make some ni nice arrangements and take some photos for social media. But then I realized that one of the poster designs that I really enjoyed and wanted printed. I totally forgot about it. I didn't export the file and it wasn't in my folder, so it didn't get printed, of course. And now I'm thinking I should go back, but the place I went printing before is really far away and I have to work from 1.30 today. So I've been Googling places semi close to my work that I can go and print it and accidentally found this place that actually does fine art printing, which I definitely think is not what I did. I think I made a more regular printing. So I now really want to go and try it, but I also don't have much time. So I don't know if I manage to pack up things until 11.30, I think I'm gonna run and try and do that. I also realized that these fine art prints are probably really expensive. Also, I'm not sure they would be okay with making them in a smaller, smaller size. But it doesn't hurt to go and talk to them because if not now, I would for sure want to do something with them in the future. I've been looking for a place like that for so long and now I just stumbled upon it just randomly googling places on the map, actually. <laughs> I really want to go and talk to them. Let's see if I can manage to do it in time because uh, it's a bit crazy at work these days because uh, there is a huge event so it's very busy at the cafe but yeah let's hope I can make it all on time. I also wanted to train in uh, setting up my table but I also can do that tomorrow or tonight it's, it's not so important. Let's see um, yeah I also another thing I also realized that the print that I forgot to print actually wasn't entirely finished or it was because I have memory of totally finishing it but maybe I forgot to save it or some something went messed up in that because yeah it needs it needs a little bit of touching so yeah okay it's a huge mess in the other room so let's pretend we don't care about it yeah let's let's do this <laughs> folks 
I was sitting and editing this video and I realized that I actually never told you how the market itself went. And it's probably because I was working for most of this week and just never got around to doing it. <laughs> so let's talk about it since it's, I guess, the most important part of this video. As I predicted, it was very small. We were just five sellers. We were sitting at a local cafe. It was a very nice cafe, by the way, but very far from where I live. So not a place I would visit normally. And I feel like most of the people who showed up were friends of the people selling. That wasn't ideal. As I was told before, there was very little marketing for it. So basically nobody knew we were there and very few people passed by very casually. So there wasn't that much selling going on. I did make a sale, one A4 print. So I'm a bit proud of that. That was, that was nice. <laughs> it basically paid for me being there. It was the poppy sprint, by the way, if you are curious to know. So good choice, buyer. <laughs> Some of the others uh, also made few sales. But what was really nice was all of the people, was all of the other women selling. It was actually very fun time. It was very nice just sitting around chatting and having coffee and the time passed really quickly actually. So I enjoyed being there and it was nice. I wish more people came by because I really hoped to get to talk to, I don't know, potential customers. Even if they don't buy, I wish there were more people who just passed by, had a little bit of conversation, just looked around, but next time. <laughs> I do hope I get to go to more markets, so I have to search for these some more. My research so far haven't really yielded that much. There is one or two bigger markets where you have to apply and get accepted and it's pretty selective, so it's a bit harder to get there. And as for smaller local markets, I don't know of much of those happening either. So, but well, I will look for it. Something that was interesting both uh, during the printing and uh, with the other sellers, I think it was at the market or someone else also commented on it. Basically, the few things they said about my prints were things that I had in mind and that I actually wanted people to think of them the way people were thinking of them. So I feel good about that. I guess I did that right. So yeah, that was nice. And now I have a bunch of prints left over, which I guess leaves me no more excuses for not opening an Etsy shop. I'm still really scared of it. I still feel like I should be waiting for a better time to do that. But what is a better time? In the next vlog, I think that's what I'll be doing. I will be working on actually opening that Etsy shop. And it's mostly, I guess, setting it up and listing listings and taking some pictures because I already have prints ready. That's what we are going to work on. I have a lot of uh, work shifts next week as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to post another video next week, maybe in two weeks. In any case, if you want to see me working on opening an Etsy store, if you have any tips for me, let me know. You can keep me company while I'm doing that. And I think that's all for now. And I hope to see you next time when we will be setting up an Etsy store. <laughs> Please let me know if you have one and how you feel about having an Etsy store. I know that there are many other options out there, but for the time being, based on my research and talking with friends, I think that it is a good place to start and if things progress in the right direction, I will consider, of course, moving to a probably self-hosted shop, but I feel like as a total beginner and very unknown random person of the internet, it's probably not very wise to self-host. I think it's better to go to a more established marketplace as Etsy even though I've heard that it's gotten worse lately, but you gotta work with what you have. I was about to say goodbye and I went on a tangent again. Hope you stick around and until next time, have fun.